Hey YouTube, welcome back to the video. We are back with episode number six of the Operator Guide series here on YouTube. This week, we are looking at smoke. Now, an operator that I don't use enough of, but I really wanna learn more. So hopefully in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a few tips and tricks to help you get much better at playing smoke. Now, before we do get fully stuck into the video, I do stream on Twitch five days a week at twitch.tv forward slash Earlswood. So if you have any questions about operators or streaming in general, please feel free to jump over. I'm always here to try and answer as many questions as possible. But without further ado, let's dive straight into the video. Now, first of all, Smoke is a two-speed, two-armor operator, but a very, very, very useful operator. Now, his ability is a remote gas grenade, but we're going to go into that in a little bit more detail later on in the video. So, the, the loadout. Now, Smoke has the FMG9 SMG and my favorite weapon, the M590A1 shotgun. Now, both weapons are very, very useful for Smoke as an operator. I personally normally rock the shotgun because I just love to get the close quarter plays with the shotgun and hold new angles. But if you're looking for more of a, a further back approach or more of a roamer approach, you can rock the FMG9 SMG. Both weapons are very, very useful. The loadout that I use with both weapons, I rock the Reflex, the Flash Hider for the FMG9. And then with a the shotgun, I use the Holographic and a laser sight. Just, just for the memes, to be honest. Moving down into the secondary, we have the, the P226 pistol and then the SMG11 SMG. So you could rock two SMGs, but the reason that what I personally go with a shotgun as the primary is because I have the SMG11 as a secondary. So I'm not losing out massively with kind of range because I can easily flick the SMG11 and kind of fight people from a longer distance compared to my shotgun. Again, just figure out how you want to play. Everybody plays operators their own sort of ways. If you want to rock double SMGs, you're more than welcome to. If you just kind of do the first burst with the FMG and, and you miss, quickly flick to the SMG and you're good to go. But my personal preference is the shotgun as the primary and the SMG11 as the secondary. Now moving down into the gadgets, Smoke has the barbed wire and the deployable shield. Again, both options are very, very useful. You can use the deployable shields to kind of slow enemies breaching into sites and kind of counter them because that is what Smoke is all about. Now, kind of sliding into Smoke's role and purpose within the team, he is used to delay enemies pushing into sites and to slow enemies down. Now, the remote gas grenades, they're not aimed to kill people. They are simply aimed to kind of slow people down, to allow your teammates to hold new angles, rotate backgrounds onto sites, and wait for teammates to push in to take out enemies. So the gas grenades, as I say, aren't meant to kill people. Yes, you can get some, you get you can get kills to them if the enemy is low. Smoke itself as an operator is used as a decoy and pretty much a delay to entry. So just bear that in mind when you are kind of going into starting playing smoke for the first time, you're not going to get loads of kills with the gas grenade. You're purely there to slow enemies down to support your team. So smoke as a whole can be classed as a kind of an entry denial operator. So com combined smoke with operators like Frost or Capcan, smoke can be incredibly useful for your team. As I've mentioned earlier on the video, smoke isn't aimed to kill those people with the remote gas grenades is simply to slow enemies down from pushing into sites and give your team a little bit more time to counter those pushers. So, for example, take the map like house, the bomb site in TV room. Using the gas grenades, when most people rush in through the outside door, you can counter that very, very easily just by throwing the gas grenades, having them ready, and preventing them running into the site. Now, this will then prevent them from rushing into that site which will then may make them flush back round to the other door side where your team could have cap can traps, a shield or a frost trap down here. And again, you could counter them again through this way. So using smoke, you can have a big control over the bomb site and kind of dictate where the enemies can actually push from. And that's why you say smoke can be so useful for your team. Let's, for example, you put cap can traps on this door on this door over there. If you smoke those doors off before they even enter, they, you will start to take health off the enemies before they push into the site. Then when they do push into the site through that way, things like a cap can trap could really drop them down to very, very, very low health or even injure them. So that's why Smoke, yes, on his own, is a very good operator and can slow people down. But combined with other operators on the team can be super useful, super, super useful. Another tip as well, when you are playing of Smoke, you can hold really tight angles because the power of the shotgun is basically one bullet, one kill in close range. You can hold tight angles to counter the people who are gonna push into the site. So for example, the two doors that we've been speaking about so far, if somebody was to come from this outside door into the site, they're gonna to be too busy looking at the, the far back corners of the site when they push in. 
Whereas if you're here holding the angle with a shotgun, with a laser sight, so you know where they're going to push in, the minute that you see a pixel, you can take them out really easily. So it's, it's a really good way to kind of catch operators off guard. And when enemies are pushing in, they, I say, they can be too busy trying to scout out the backs, the back sites of bomb sites, and you're here holding an angle. You can do the exact same in this doorway as well. As I've mentioned, enemies pushing in from the outside are going to be looking at the back corner behind pool table in the other site, looking in the back corner behind bomb site, which is normally a common place to hide, and also the back corner behind piano. So they're going to then push in when they think those areas are clear. However, you're then stood here waiting for the shotgun. You take them out. So it may sound very, very simple, but holding angles rather than trying to over peak as a, as a smoke operator, because the shotgun doesn't have great range. If, if someone like Sphere or someone with an ACOG is back here holding the fence and you peak with your shotgun, they're going to take you out really, really easy because your shotgun just doesn't have the range to fight back. So it's a very good way just to know, play to the strengths of smoke. You know, don't over peak, just hold angles. You know, use the smoke grenades to counter enemies, push it onto the sights. And, you know, as smoke, you have much more control as an operator of the site than you think. So hopefully those tips there will help you guys be more aware of when holding sights as smoke. So I'm now going to show you why smoke is very, very useful in aerial advantage. So as I mentioned in previous videos, a lot of operators can actually be very, very useful from playing from above or below. And smoke is the exact same. Now take the house map. I've done this map quite a lot in the videos, but it's, it can be applied to so many other bomb sites as well and across multiple sites. But the bomb site and garage on house. Now there's two places that you can play a big advantage for your team as smoke. First of all, you can counter any hard breaches trying to breach this ace habana or thermite by making a hole with your shotgun and dropping your gas grenade down this again will slow people down and it's exactly what smoke is all about just slowing the enemies down and allowing your team to have more time to kind of counter them and get in better positions so not only that as well another way you could counter them from slowing them down is to enter here you can smoke from above Again, slowing them down into this entry and having a lot more control from above. So two very easy angles that you can use as smoke to prevent enemies from pushing in and breaching in as well. And even if they did use operators like uh, Ace or Habana and they breach from a further, further angle back here and they get rid of the wall, again, you can still slow them down entering by dropping another smoke grenade and pushing them in. So even if that wall is taken down quickly, you can then counter them and slow the entry down by dropping another gas grenade down. So it may sound very, very simple, but it can be used very, very, very effectively and make a big difference to your team and just slow enemies down. I feel like I've said slow enemies down a lot, but that's what smoke is all about. Next tip. Now, a very sneaky way to play smoke is actually from underneath. So not everybody has to play from above and not everybody expects operators to be below when breaching into sites. Take the bomb site and master bedroom on house. There's two very, very useful ways that you can play smoke right here. The first one, we are going to play and create an angle underneath this doorway right here. And another one is going to be underneath this door, this window frame right here. So the first thing you're going to do is just clear out and... And then do the exact same under this doorway. So a very, very easy angle that you can hold right here is under here. So when people breach that wall, which is normally reinforced on that bomb site, you could counter them if they do remove that wall by throwing a quick smoke grenade and counter them pushing in. The exact same for this window. So they, this normally is the way where they push in if that other door is reinforced. They will take out this window and then push into sights. Again, the exact same way. Throw the gas grenade below the window and it will slow them down as well and take damage off them. So two very simple ways that you can use to kind of play below. Not many people will expect you to be below the bomb site. You can catch so many people off guard and I've done this trick, I should call it, many times and you can counter people very, very easily. So not only that, of kind of using the gas grenade below, you can actually take them out with the shotgun as well. So if they do, the minute you see a pixel or somebody jumping into the site, one bullet, take them out. And the exact same way in this way as well. So you don't have just to use the gas grenade below, you can also use the actual shotgun. And this is why I recommend using the shotgun because you have so much control and you're able to catch so many people off guard using the shotgun and playing from above. So try it, give it a go, let me know if it works. 
But hopefully the tips in this video helped you guys understand a bit more of how you can play Smoke and help your team a lot better. So Smoke is more of an entry denial operator, kind of combined with the Frost and Capcan. If you do play Smoke on his own, it's still a very, very useful operator. But as I've said in this video, if you do combine it with Frost or Capcan, it can be very, very, very useful as well. I personally would recommend the shotgun and the SMG loadout. Mess around with it, see what you guys like. And hopefully you have picked up a few tips and tricks as well along the way. If you have liked the video, please don't forget to leave a like on the video. It massively helps. And if you wouldn't mind, click the big red subscribe button below because we are on the way to 4,000 subscribers right now. So a massive, massive thank you. If you have any feedback as well on how I can improve these videos or you want to see some future things in the next videos, please let me know because I would really appreciate any feedback as well. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video. It really does mean the world. Until next time, stay awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Roll the tape.